up and welcome to Chopper Class Photoshop Edition. Now today we're going to be creating the text you see here, which is a very Iron Man like text, and it can be done in a matter of minutes. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and make a new canvas, and our new canvas will be 1920 by 1080, keeping it full HD with the 300 pixels per inch resolution. Now I'm going to go ahead and title this Iron Man, and click OK. Now to start off, I recommend adding a dark background layer, completely black even, and then opening or inserting a texture. Now, for the texture we're going to be using, we're going to be on Google Images, and I looked up Metal Texture 1920 by 1080, and I found this scratched metal. We're going to be using this twice, so we're just going to click Copy Image, come over to Photoshop, and Control V or Command V if you're on Mac, and that will paste it in. Now what you want to do is you want to lower the opacity to around 25% I'd say. And then click on the layer and add a curves underneath adjustments. And just darken that quite a bit, just like that. This will be our background for this project. After that, you, have, you want to click on the curves layer and create a whole new layer. And then grab your text tool and type out your text. So I'm going to be recre or creating Iron Man. Now, as you can see, this is a 135 font or point font, but I'm going to go ahead and lower it just for the purpose of this tutorial. That way it can fit on the canvas itself. Now, if you're wondering what font type this is, this is called CGF Arc Reactor. It's very Iron Man like, and you can locate this on defont.com. There will be a download link in the description. Now, what we're going to do right away is we're going to duplicate this layer. So now we have Iron Man and Iron Man copy. So we're going to hide both of these layers. Hit Control R to enable our rulers, and we're going to drag out our center lines. It should snap into place if you haven't changed any settings. And then selecting both of these and using transform tools, we're going to center our text on the page just to keep everything looking nice and neat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start adding our layer styles. So on Iron Man copy or whatever you have the top layer as, you want to add a bevel and emboss. Now the settings will be inner bevel. We're going to change the technique to chisel hard. We're going to make the depth 300%. The direction will be up. Our size will be 13 pixels and we'll keep soften at zero. In our shading area, we're going to keep the angle at 120 degrees. Actually, excuse me, we will... Mm, yeah, we'll keep it at 120 degrees. And we'll change the altitude to 50 degrees. So, there is... You can change the angle here to, I'd say, 90 maybe would do good. But for now, we're just going to keep it at 120 because that looks nicest. Down here under highlight mode and shadow mode, this is going to change up quite a bit. We're going to change our gloss contour, we're going to make that anti aliased and we're going to change our highlight mode to color burn. So color burn, here it is. And the color is going to be a nice dark color and the ID is 51331D. So it's a nice dark brown. And then our shadow mode will be changed to screen. And the color will be a light color, a lighter at least. FFCB87. It's a light tan. After that, we're going to go ahead and give it a contour. And this contour will be a rounded steps. And we'll make the range 35%. So now we have our bevel down. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and change. Uh, we're going to create a gradient overlay. Or, well, you'll see in a second here. For now, we can go ahead and exit this. And we want to go into our text tool highlight Iron Man and come up here to the colors. Now previously as you can see we have this nice red color 
which is 251103, which we will bring over to this document here as two f oh snap we'll just make it a dark red and the ID we're going to be using for our red is two six zero or two four zero six zero zero just like that and we want to tape the text here on the bottom as well and add a layer style to that so the layer style we're going to be adding here is a drop shadow, which will be in multiply blend mode. It'll have a 100% opacity, an angle of 90 degrees, a, di a distance of 5, oh, 5 pixels, and a size of 20. Now, what this will do is if we take this layer and we grab our move tool, and just use our arrow keys and hit down I'd say three four times it'll give our text this nice shadow that allows it to peel away from the page now we could call it done right here but what we're gonna do now is create a new layer put it on top of both texts and hit B to access your brush tool and then you wanna right click change the size to around 1200 pixels and the hardness to zero and you just wanna click in the middle of the page using white just like this. Now what this will do is if we change the blend mode to soft light it will create this slight spotlight effect which will combine with the texture quite well in a few seconds here. What we want to do is we want to duplicate our texture layer in the background and drag it above the text. We'll bring the opacity all the way up to 100% and we will control click on the top uh, text layer. Then we can go ahead and add a layer mask, clicking this button at the bottom, which will basically cut out everything that's not on top of the text. We can then go in and set the um, blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity as needed. So I'm going to keep it around 60, I'd say, maybe 50. That looks good and now we're going to give it a nice gloss now the gloss is more of a reflection slash glare to the text and to do that we're going to create a new layer just like this we're going to select this and we're gonna hit control D or just D and what that does is it resets your colors and then you're gonna hit control backspace to fill it with the underlying color or the white and then you can hit control D to deselect and you want to mask out a diagonal type uh, glare to your text just like this and then we want to create or fill this um, with white oh snap edit undo deselect okay then we want to fill this with white and then come down here hit control D while still selecting this layer select what's here and create a layer mask now what we have is we have a fully white filled Iron Man text and we'll do that one more time layer it out and put a layer on it and we'll lower the opacity quite a bit to about that and we want to now do the opposite here and delete that so now we have this nice glared effect and we can raise the opacity to accommodate you know how much light there is in the room or maybe have it fade off by using our eraser tool on a larger size with a soft hardness that something a little bigger maybe so now we have it just fading off a little bit and that is how you recreate the Iron Man text in Photoshop this is Chopper Class Photoshop Edition and I hope you enjoyed